All right, guys, so we are back at um, this new park that I found the other day. I like it here. There's a ton of room here, especially for just uh, tooling around a little bit and testing things. Um, sorry if you hear a backup alarm. There's a, somebody learning how to drive a school bus here, of course. Anyway, so today I am testing out a couple different things. Um, number one, I'm going to test out the DJI Avada with an action camera on top of it. Um, no upgrades to the DJI Avada other than the props that I talked about in the last video. Um, it, and I gotta tell you, it feels pretty heavy right now, so I'm not sure how it's gonna do. Um, but we're gonna find out. The other thing that I'm testing out is it's my first time actually using an action camera on an FPV drone. Um, so it's going to be nice to see the difference between the footage that I get from the DJI Action 4, which is what I'm using here, and in the footage that I would normally be using um, out of the DJI 03 system in the DJI Avada, which is pretty good. Um, but I think that the Action 4 is going to obviously come out a little bit better. But it's my first time. Um, I have the settings set right, I believe. Got an ND filter on both. I'm going to be recording both uh, along with recording here so that we can put it all together later and you guys can see the difference and me. All right. So, um, yeah, let's go. All right. Everything's good. Got good GPS. It is heavy. Definitely using more throttle than I normally would, but I gotta say, at least in straight flight right here, um, it's not bad. I feel like, um, so it's like jittering, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it to you guys. So I feel like that the camera on the top is like a, is like a, a wind break or a, you know, like a speed break or something. And it's shaking the, drone around. Other than like the, the jittering, it kind of seems a little bit more stable. That's that makes sense because it's heavier. See how it climbs. Right? It climbs really well still. I mean, it's not bad, it's doable. It really is. You just, you know, you definitely need a little bit more power. It's definitely eating up the battery a little bit quicker. Um, coming out of that dive there, I was probably around 80, 
90% of the throttle. And I'm still very new at all this. Um, but yeah, I find it a little easier to get lower to the ground. Because before it was so light that any little input in the throttle would just shoot, you know, shoot it upward. And without like a really steep angle of attack, it was difficult to get these really low um, shots here. And so now I feel like I could do this just by feathering the throttle. So, so we're already down to 44% of the battery. So it definitely eats battery more. Woo! I almost, uh, <laughs> almost ate the dirt there. That was 100% of throttle there right at the end. And, uh, almost hit. So you definitely have to start a little earlier. Yeah, so especially when the battery starts to get down. So we're at 30% now, and I'm for sure feeling it. I mean, I think like if I did a dive right now, I would not be able to recover. Yeah, I'm getting returned to home now, so I'm gonna come back, 26. So it, it for sure eats, eats battery because I've only been flying for six minutes. Boom. Hey, it's also the first time that I've ever stood up flying in FPV. <laughs> I was always afraid I was going to fall over. I mean, I think we can conclude that it does it. It does it. All right, so at the end of the day, will the DJI Avada carry an action camera on top of it and be able to fly? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, some limitations. Obviously, you're going you're gonna to run your battery down a little bit quicker, although it's not that bad, minute and a half to two minutes, um, with cinematic-style flying, right? And... Uh, yeah, I mean, you just got to be careful, you know, with your dives or anything else that you're doing. You got to leave yourself room to come out of them because it is definitely much heavier. But yeah, it does it for sure. Hey, mission accomplished today. We'll see you guys in the next one.